going to show you how to fix a bug in Sony Vegas's import media window. So go to file, import media, import media. Ah. <clears throat> what I want to do is to import an image sequence to make a time lapse piece of time lapse footage, which I've created here. And that's my time lapse. So normally I press the first one, and this button here called open sequence comes up. But uh, Vegas can't deal with the fact that there are brackets in the file name, so it doesn't let you do it, which is, is dumb. That's the bug. So <clears throat> I'll go to cancel. So to fix that, to get rid of all of the brackets, I go into Adobe Bridge and find the relevant folder, which is Henry. Okay, great. I'm going to press Control A to select all. Now here's where I do the tricky stuff. I right click, batch rename, and so if I, <clears throat> I'll just delete all of these things so we can start from scratch. So first of all, I want to rename it in the same folder. I don't want to copy and paste those though. If you wanted to do it safer, you could copy to a new folder and make a new folder to have the renamed files in there. I'm not going to bother. Now. You want to use this uh, one called string substitution, which means it takes one part of the file name and replaces it with something else. And for starters, we use the original file name in this part here. So, current file name is Carlite uh, TL. So that's fine, that can stay there. Um, what I don't want though is any of the brackets. So, I can simply go find. Uh, bracket here, so I go space, open bracket, and replace with nothing. Simple. So if I go to preview, okay, now it's working. So you can see here that the space and the first bracket are gone. But you still got the end bracket there. So we want to get rid of that. So go okay. Let's get out of the preview. And we'll add one more string substitution. So, string substitution, and instead of this one, we'll go to the intermediate file name, which is the file name which is created from the first string substitution, not the second. Um, so we're going to find a close bracket, which is simply like that. Now, if we want to, though, we could also go, for example, uh, space of 75, oops, Five close bracket because that's the file name that's created here that uh, Lightroom created um, and replace with again nothing and you can see here it's going Carlite TL1 now I'm not that first number is important because that's the one that differentiates all the different uh, files so I'll leave that one in there I get a preview hopefully it won't crash again and this is what it looks like no brackets all the files have individual numbers, so we're good to go. Okay, okay, and rename. Okay, now it's all renamed. We can see that file names have been changed. So go back to Vegas, go to File, Import, Media. Press the first one, and now you can press the open sequence button. And it says the first one is one, last image is 75. So it's 75 images in the time lapse. Hit OK. And then the rest uh, from here, you can leave it um, 25 frames per hour, that kind of stuff. I normally leave it as is. Um, really large file size. That's cool. So I can zoom in um, and keep it. HD. Put it on the timeline. And away we go. Um, this is probably too high a file size to play properly. Set news. So I'll go preview. Auto. And 
I said that this works. Not really. Anyway, that's not the point. I can fix that later in post. And also just do a video event pan cut, which you probably know about. And that's how we fix that uh, import media open sequence bug using Adobe Bridge.